This is uh, Lodge EE at the High Rise Village site, and I'm holding a mono here that was used to grind pine nuts. It's a cobble that's been carried up from the Wind River about six miles and 2,500 feet lower than here. This is a, a four, at least 400 year old example of indigenous domestic architecture here. You can see over on my left, there's a rock retaining wall that's one, two, three, four courses high. And then it has been cut down into the ground. And it's all flat, flattened in here. And on this side, there's another four course retaining wall. And also the, all of the timbers to the side and behind me are examples of wooden architecture. Uh, these are logs that were uh, cribbed up Lincoln log style to provide a, a superstructure out of the wind that probably went up uh, a couple feet high, maybe even as much as six feet high. Villages like this are found at Treeline in Wyoming, in the Wind River Range and in the Absorca Range, and also in uh, central Nevada in the Tokima Range, in eastern California in the White Mountains there, and they are all remarkably similar. They all involve these circular cut and fill lodge pads with wooden uh, wall elements filled with monos and matates for grinding up seeds and filled with uh, late prehistoric arrowheads. Uh, what's surprising about the high-rise village site is that we have radiocarbon dates that are significantly older than any of the other uh, villages in Nevada or California. Um, and it may be that the village phenomenon uh, originated here in the uh, home of whitebark pines and then spread to places where there are pinyon pines and limber pines there. So this is the best example of a lodge. It is clear, anybody can see it, and we've all agreed, all the researchers involved in this project, that we will never excavate this one to leave it for posterity. 